my channel I thought I would start today's vlog in my dressing room so I think I'm gonna go to Dior today because I really want to check out their new collection I think it's called the um, Clyde Dior scope collection it's they've got these really fun prints on the bags and their shoes and it's like this really bright um, fun tie-dye style print which is inspired by the shapes that you see through a kaleidoscope um, so yeah that's what I'm gonna do today I'm gonna go to the Dior boutique in Selfridges because I'm friends with a security guard well I, I don't know if he's working today but he's cool and he lets me film in the boutique which is nice um, but I wanted to give you guys a quick update on some of my recent purchases so my Louis Vuitton um, front row trainers or sneakers. When I bought these I was really hesitant um, about how much wear I would get out of them and you know how much use, how many times I would wear them basically, cost per wear. Oh my god, since I bought these I have worn these every single weekend um, since my birthday basically. These have not left my feet since I've purchased them you can see they're kind of getting a little bit dirty on the sole if you guys yeah you can see it better there so they are getting <laughs> dirty already if you guys have any uh, tips for me in terms of cleaning trainers like the soles of trainers that would be really helpful because I don't really own any trainers so therefore I don't know how to clean them um, but yeah I'm just so surprised how many times I've been wearing these literally every single weekend these have been on my feet I will say that the right shoe which is this one here is too big on me unfortunately I do have to buy a pair of insoles to put in here when I walk the shoe actually slips off my foot it is too big for me but that's okay they're very very comfortable shoes and I'm so so happy with this purchase I would highly recommend you guys buying the front row trainers because they're so comfortable um, on the other hand now I purchased my Star Trail boots thinking that I would be wearing them non-stop I have not worn them once not once um, so today I'm going to attempt to wear them for the first time yeah so I'm going to attempt to wear these for the first time today in my vlog um, they are very high so <laughs> I'm hoping that um, you know I'll be comfortable when I'm walking through Selfridges and in fact I'm planning on filming multiple vlogs today because obviously working full time I don't have much time during the week to film I just hope that I don't end up in pain or my feet don't break in these shoes um, so yeah I will be testing out my Star Trail boots today and I will give you an update on them at the end of the vlog It's quite cold in London today, so I'm going to wear my faux fur, yes, faux fur for all you righteous people. Um, I'm just, yeah, you've all seen this coat many times. And I think I will wear 
my pochette matisse because I feel like it goes with the outfit a bit better but yeah hopefully I should be nice and warm today because the weather is not very nice okay so the first thing I'd like to say is I think I'm going crazy I just spent the past 20 minutes looking for my car keys in my house only to realize that my car keys were inside my car and my car was unlocked all night how careless is that that is so careless of me to do like i never i never do that i'm really like disappointed in myself but touch wood i live in a very safe area so nothing happened secondly i just like to say can we please ignore this imperfection on my face every time i want to vlog my skin decides to move mad i don't know why well actually i have very good skin but this morning it decided to move mad maybe because it knew i wanted to vlog today i don't know but let's just pretend it's a mole like sarah jessica parker and thirdly i'd like to say i've had such a bad week this week <sighs> two days ago i received a letter from the police saying that I've basically been summoned to court for speeding so apparently I'm getting points on my license and a big hefty fine I am so pissed I cannot tell you how angry I am because I have a clean driver's license and this type of stuff never happens to me and I'm just so disappointed that it happened like I'm very aware of the cameras speed cameras around me and i'm very conscious when i drive like i i'm i don't think i'm a fast driver i don't speed this particular speeding conviction wasn't even in london it was outside of london where i work and basically shut up basically it was i didn't get caught on a camera it wasn't a speeding camera it was those vans the police vans that hold that you know that hold that machine and they track how fast your car is going so apparently i was going 35 miles per hour <laughs> yeah hardly groundbreaking i was going 35 miles per hour in a 30 um 30 mile per hour zone and now they want to give me points on my license it's it's bullshit it really is like, it really affects me because like, i drive to work obviously i need my car i can't afford to get my license um taken away from me anyway there's an option on the um letter that says i can be considered for a speed awareness course um so i don't really know how it works but if i do that option does that mean that i won't get points on my license like can you guys please help me out any you know of my fellow british people who have been caught speeding can you please help me because I, I, I don't know yeah i'm just gonna hope and pray that they consider me for this speed awareness course because I really want to keep my clean driver's license. I don't want anything to happen to my license. I don't want points on my license. I don't, I just don't like the idea of having points. Oh my God, my feet are burning. My feet are actually burning. Someone please help me. Um, my ankles and the top of my foot feel like they're on fire. I'm in pain. My feet are burning. I'm worried. Did I just like waste 900 pounds? on like boots that torture my feet it used to, uh, like one month ago one month ago I think so this yeah. is so beautiful and what's the embellishment what is this so this is like painted colors but everything else is hand ordered like every single piece okay because if you feel it very smooth yeah it's very but the smooth. rest of the bag is a hand builder i would get worried that these would fall off is that so the thing for these bags so they're not everyday bags okay for like special occasions okay but as long as you take care of it it would be fine okay cool yeah that's really and the same here with all yes. the embroidery so these are not everyday bags <laughs> okay that's fair enough That's really pretty for summer. How much do these retail for? I think it's, I need to check, 
Three thousand Wow, almost four thousand pounds. Wow, it's more of a collector's piece, I guess. Yeah, it's very limited. That's okay. All right. Yeah, it's really nice. Very pretty. So this is the saddle bag in the Clyde Dior scope print. These bags are really expensive. But nice to add if you're a collector of Dior. It's very pretty. Just have a flip like this. But every time I wear it, like over my shoulder, I get a little bit scared. I don't feel comfortable. Yeah, I see what you mean. But we both have like pros and cons. <laughs> Yeah, this is the one with the flap, and that's really good. And the leather is so nice, it's so soft and supple. And then this is the one with the zip. Yeah, 3,900. 3,900. Both beautiful designs, I really like them. So this is the Lady Dior with the pouch. Such a pretty bag. I love the design. So pretty. Got four thousand pounds. It's a lot of money. So this is the book toe in the air collection. It's like a new design. Um, it's really pretty. I love the vibrant colours. Um, it's suede and it says the air. That's really pretty. It's three thousand pounds. Um, how many symbols or how many letters can you get? Three. Three. This one has eight, uh, five. It's, yeah, it's just to show. Uh, oh, it's just to show. Okay. <laughs> so three maximum. Uh, I mean, you, three is included. Oh, but the, for one is forty-five pounds. So you can just add. Okay. So you can add two more, but maximum would be five. So. I mean. Because if I was to get that my name, or I think it would fit you more if you like have them. Okay. Tight I think that's quite cool. I should buy this and get the Duchess. Get I like this more than the other pins. Yeah. Because this looks more elegant. I think this. so too. I think because the pins are um, quite colourful. Yeah. I think sometimes it can look a bit childish a bit youthful whereas i think this looks a bit more mature and more elegant yes. the only issue is it doesn't come in gray yes. i don't want it in gray but it's almost uh, silver it's champagne gold but but, but oh, the leather yeah, yeah the color yes. the color because i don't think i could really have a white bag i think it would get dirty in an instant for a white bag it's just like if you go to a wedding or you wear yeah. white yeah. pants all the time. Exactly. <laughs> because uh, it's the lambskin, so it's very absorbent as well. Like okay. if it has a uh, darker, yeah, darker clothes on, it will immediately transfer. transfer. God. So that's why you need to be very careful when you have a white. So it's not just that it can get dirty, it's just that it can actually... The color transfer, yeah. So it can actually destroy the level. Not the story, but the game transfer. Uh, the this color, this color, the level, yeah. Damn. <laughs> so, what do you guys think of this new um, ABC bracelet from Dior? So, basically, it's a leather strap bracelet, and you can put three charms on the bracelet, and it looks really pretty. It looks really nice against my watch. 
yeah, that's quite a nice nice picture and my wrists are very skinny and it still looks quite decent so it's adjustable yes. depending on your wrist size which is good okay so i got a question from a follower called henderson oh, wow. Burton. he asked me if i could start showing some menswear collections which makes total sense because i do have a lot of men who follow my channel and you guys watch my videos so I, yeah it makes sense um i don't know why i've never done it before it's honestly never crossed my mind to show like men's wear men's items so i'm going to try my best to start incorporating it for all my male followers yeah so this is the um Dior saddle in the menswear, the men's style. I had no idea that the menswear had their own version of the Dior saddle. But yeah, it is really nice. It's very different, guys. What do you think? Yeah, I think it's quite nice. It's quite versatile. Um, this is good for all you guys out there. If you want to be on trend, get yourself the um, men's saddle bag. And even, how much does this cost? The oblique one is 1,900. 1,900 and the latest ones are 2,050 so this is actually cheaper than the women's version yeah. so if you you see ladies if you want to save yourself some money come to menswear and just buy this version if you like the way it looks you can save yourself a couple of hundred pounds okay guys so i've just spotted this bag and i think this is really cool because it's very subtle and very understated and i like how the dior logo is just embossed into the leather um so it's like a bowling shaped style and um, crossbody bag and it's real leather and yeah i think this would look quite nice on a guy well obviously it's from the menswear but yeah i think this is quite a nice bag for all you guys out there These are cute. These are in the menswear. Um, maybe a little bit feminine with the floral pattern. I don't know how many of you guys would wear this shoe. Would you wear floral print? I, I, I don't know. But it's a cute shoe. You've got this bum bag with the B. I'm not sure about this design to be honest. It looks a bit cartoonish in my opinion I'm not sure about this design I don't really like it what do you guys think of these walk trainers these prints are a little bit too loud for me but I'll say I really like the plain ones I really like these ones they're just nice and plain and they're white and they're classic I just don't think you can go wrong with a pair of classic white trainers and these are 640 pounds what do you guys think of the new sandals Yeah, they're very comfortable, and I love the gold. Um, this, the gold. Yeah, they, they, since the beginning, it was incredibly popular. They're very pretty, and you just got these overnight. You said. Sorry. You, you just got these overnight. We did, so they're ready. Uh, however, the thirty-eight point five we sold out already. Okay. So we only have a few sizes left, but. Uh, these are the classic ones. The oblique print guys i really like these shoes for work i think they would be perfect for the office these are size 37 but he's gone to get me a 39 they're 670 pound and they're black paint and leather oh i thought this was a buckle but it's actually not it's actually um elastic elasticated that's cool so these are a little bit big on me, they're size 39. 
So I've just come to the Ready to Wear section at Selfridges in Dior and I've never been here before, it's so nice and my essay is really lovely, he's called Alexander, really nice man. I'll try and show you around, ooh nice lighting, I'll try and show you guys around as much as I can. I'm hoping what I said could make you change your mind. in black before I've only seen it in like a washed out white it looks so much better in black I really like that so I've just been at Selfridges I had a really lovely time someone even came up to me on the first floor in the menswear um, I think his name was Anderson I think he might like um, he might be watching this and he might think, no, that's not my name. I think his name was Anderson. Really sweet boy who came up to me. And yeah, I just love seeing you guys in person. Like, you guys are really out here watching my videos, which is crazy. I still have the impression that no one really watches my videos and people are staring at me like I'm crazy. But anyway, I'm gonna go now and, um, oh, update on my Star Trail boots. They are now comfortable. <laughs> In the space of like two hours, they've now become comfortable, which is really weird. I feel like I've broken them in in the space of half a day, which is good. Obviously, that's good. Yeah, they're like they're nice and comfortable now, so I'm happy with them. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go. Um, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload new videos. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Now I'm going to head out to film another vlog. So until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.